Hi there, and welcome to your Spreadsheet Life Google Sheets Challenge 11. In this video, I will be testing your skills working with math functions in Google Sheets. As always, you can use the link in the description to download the workbook. That way, you can attempt every question before you watch me do it. If that sounds like a fun time to you, then let's get to it. Okie dokie. For question one, your task is to calculate the circumference and area of a circle with a radius of 2.5. Now the equations to calculate these metrics have been provided, so all you have to do is write the formulas. Let's start with the circumference. Select cell C5 and enter the formula equals 2 times pi function times and then select cell C4 and press enter. That gives you the circumference, so let's do the area next. Select cell C6 and enter the formula equals pi function times power function, select C4, add a comma, enter a 2, close parentheses, and press enter. And just like that, you've got back the area of a circle. That completes question 1, so let's move on to question 2. For question two, your task is to create a random sales number for each sales agent that falls between 100 and 1,000. Also, the sales numbers must be rounded to the nearest 100. Now before we go any further, I want to let you know that the numbers that you generate will not be exactly the same as mine. We will be using the rand between function, and so this function will end up generating a random set of numbers for you that is different from mine. That said, start by selecting cell C5 and enter the following formula. Equals round function, rand between function, 100, comma, 1000, close parentheses, comma, minus 2, close parentheses, and enter. The rand between function generates a random number between 100 and 1000. The round function then takes the calculated number and rounds it to the nearest 100 due to the negative 2 used as the second argument for this function. And so, to complete question 2, just use the fill handle to copy the formula down for all of the remaining sales agents. Now with question 2 complete, let's move on to question 3. For question 3, your goal is to count the number of sales agents from division A with at least 500 in total sales. So selecting cell F5, enter the formula, equals count ifs function. And for the first argument, you want to select the first range that you want to test. So select the divisions in C5 through C12. And now for the second argument, you are testing to see which divisions are equivalent to A. So enter in A in quotation marks. Then for the third argument, select the second range that you want to test. So select the sales numbers in D5 through D12. And for the fourth argument, you want to test to see which sales numbers are greater than or equal to 500. So enter in a quotation mark, greater than or equal to 500, quotation mark. Then close parentheses and press enter. You then get back the count of the number of sales agents from division A with at least 500 in total sales. Awesome. Let's move on to question four. For question four, you must calculate the total sales for those sales agents from divisions A, B, and C. To pull this off, select cell F5 and enter the following formula. Equals sum function, array formula function, sum if function, then select the divisions in C5 through C12. Add a comma, then add an open bracket. Next, enter in the letter A in quotes, add a comma, enter B in quotes, add a comma, and finally enter C in quotes. Then add a closing bracket. Next, add a comma, 
and select the total sales numbers in D5 through D12. Then close parentheses three times and press enter. Okay, let's break this formula down. The sum if function looks in the range of C5 through C12 and tests for the three divisions listed in our array that was entered in for the second argument. And since we added an array to the sum if function, we have to wrap the array formula function around it so that it works properly. So with this setup, the sum if function sums the total sales for division A, and then the total sales for division B, and the total sales for division C. Then it gives back an array result containing those three numbers. You can see here that if I take off the sum function, you get back an array of three numbers. And so that's why you wrap the sum function around the other two functions to sum up those three numbers to get back the total sales for all the sales agents in those three divisions. How cool is that? Well, that officially completes question number four in your 11th Spreadsheet Life Google Sheets challenge. Also, I really encourage you to leave a comment below to let me know how you did. And don't forget to subscribe if you learned something new. As always, thank you for watching, and until next time, I will see you in the next Spreadsheet Life video.